everybody, it's Miss Debbie. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that happens an awful lot this time of year. And some people like seeing it and some people don't, but we'll talk about that in a minute. First, we need to sing our song. So if you know the words to The More We Get Together, sing along with me. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Good job, guys. I hope you sang along with me. Let's, let me put this down because I want to talk to you guys about rain. Do you guys like rain? I like rain. I don't like rain all the time, but I don't mind rain because I know rain is very important. And this time of year, we see a lot of rain. We need rain. Animals need rain. Our flowers and plants need rain. We need rain to be able to live and survive. Like I said, rain helps the flowers bloom. It grows our vegetables for us to eat. Animals use it to drink. There's even animals like fish and amphibians that live in places where it needs to have water. Did you know that water actually helps big machines generate electricity so we can have lights and computers and cameras and things to run on. Rain is very important and water is very important. Now what do you use water for? Can you think? Do you drink water? I drink water. I like drinking water. And we need water to stay clean. You take baths, don't you? We all take baths, and we've all been washing our hands and staying clean. So water is very, very important. I want to teach you the sign language for rain. Can you take your fingers and wiggle them and take them up high? Because our raindrops are going to fall to the ground. Okay? Take your fingers and wiggle them and make them fall to the ground. I have a song that we're going to use our fingers to do. And it's called It's Raining. And it goes like this. It is raining, it is raining on my head, on my head. Pitter patter rain drops, pitter patter rain drops. I'm all wet, I'm all wet. Ooh, can you shake like a dog? Shake, 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 shake. Let's try that again. You ready? Get your rain drops, red drops ready. Here we go. It is raining. It is raining on my head. Touch your head. On my head. Pitter patter rain drops. Pitter patter rain drops. I'm all wet. Oh no. I'm all wet. Shake off like your dog. Shake, 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 shake. Are you dry now? I'm dry now. I have a story. And this story is about a little girl. And this little girl loved to play outside. Do you like to play outside? I like to play outside. So, this little girl couldn't wait to get up in the morning and go and get dressed and go outside to play. She put on her clothes. She ran down some, downstairs, ran to the window. She threw open the curtain and she looked outside and it was raining. <gasps> Oh my goodness, she was so sad. She wanted to go outside to 
play, but she saw raindrops falling to the ground all over the place. She saw tons of raindrops falling to the ground. Oh, she wished she could go outside and play. She wished so hard that she thought of a song that maybe she could sing to make those raindrops go away. Maybe you've heard this song this before. It goes like this. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. I want to go and play. Rain, rain, go away. And she sang that song. But it's still raining. It's still those raindrops were coming down. <gasps> the little girl decided she closed her eyes. And she was going to wish for that rain to stop. While she had her eyes closed, she remembered something mommy would say about the rain. And it would go like this. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. Can you close your eyes like she is and say this with me? April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. She opened her up, her eyes. She ran to the window, saw the sun was shining. She was so happy. And the closer she looked, she saw that those April showers did bring May flowers. Beautiful blossoms were growing in her yard. She was so happy that she ran outside, ran to her garden where all her beautiful flowers were growing, and she stayed there and she played all day long. I like seeing the flowers that grow and I'm willing to have the rain fall so that I can see the beautiful flowers that grew because the water from the rain helped them to grow. I have a song about someone that's not very happy about the rain. It's the Itsy Bitsy Spider. If you know the song, sing along with me, okay? Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <gasps> Much happier now, isn't he? But there's not just an itsy bitsy spider. There's a great big spider. <gasps> Let's see how he does. You ready? Now, if you want to be a great big spider, you got to sound low in your voice because he's a big spider. Are you ready? Here we go. And he's going to move slower. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Very good. But you know, if we have a great big spider, we also have a teeny tiny spider. And teeny tiny spiders talk real high. They're like, okay, I'm a teeny tiny spider. You ready? All right, let's get the sun out of here. Because we need the teeny tiny. Here we go. And the teeny tiny spider goes real fast. It can move fast. Here we go. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out 
King the Sun Oops, get back. and dried up all the rain and the teeny tiny spider went up the spot again. Wow. That's one teeny tiny spike. But, you know, I think my favorite is Itsy Bitsy. Let's see if Itsy Bitsy wants to come out again. There's Itsy Bitsy. Let's do Itsy Bitsy one more time. You ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <gasps> That's one happy spider that the sun's finally out. I'm going to need you to help me to make sounds like raindrops. And to do that, I need you to hit your hands on your legs. You ready? Here we go. Pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, make your big suns, little flowers start to bud and grow and grow and grow. Make your flower. You ready? Let's try it again. Okay, get your rain going. Pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flowers start to bud and grow and grow and grow. Make your big flower bloom. Very good. Good job, guys. To show you something special and it's called a rain stick and if you listen real close can you hear the rain does it sound like rain falling This is one of my favorite things that I have. I've had this for many years. Ooh, it was a big shower then, wasn't it? Let's see if I've got it all done. A little bit more. Does it sound like rain? Actually, this is a cactus, it's part of a cactus. There's still some more rain soon, isn't it? Let's see if we can get it all down. There we go. This is a cactus. And do you know anything about cactuses? If this was a real cactus, would I be able to hold it like this with my hand? They have little prickles. And where each one of these spots is, a little prickle or a thorn would grow out of the cactus. And what they do to make a rain stick is they take the thorns off, they turn them around, and they poke it back inside the cactus. And let's see, we have some more. They take and they seal one end. And before they seal the other end, they put little beads or beans in here. And if you would be able to look inside there, where all the little thorns are facing, uh, facing inside, you would see all kinds of little things sticking out in a big circle all around. So when the beads or the beans go from one end of the rain stick to the other, they bounce off all those little thorns that are now poking inside the cactus. And they make the sound that sounds like
My brain. Oh, it's a big storm now. Listen to that rain. Sometimes they use this as a musical instrument. Sometimes you see them in bands and they'll use that sound as they're playing music. Let's put our rain stick, Mr. Rain Stick, down because we have some clouds here. And we want the clouds to go away and find Mr. Sun. Mr. Sun's hiding behind the clouds. When it's a rainy day, we don't see the sun. The sun's hiding behind clouds and we need to find him. Now, what color clouds do we have? We have a pink. Did you say purple? We have a purple, an orange, a green, and a blue. Hmm. I wonder where he is hiding. Let's see. Bright sun, bright sun, if we call very loud, are you hiding behind the, what color? Blue's my favorite color, it's too blue. Are you hiding behind the blue cloud? Nope. Oh boy, uh, we need to get these clouds gone so the sun will come out. So let's try again. Miss Bright sun, bright sun, if we shout very loud, are you hiding behind the what color? Pink? Let's try. Are you hiding behind the pink cloud? No. Oh my goodness. All right, we want that sun to shine, so let's try again. Bright sun, bright sun, if we shout very loud, are you hiding behind the what color? Let me close my eyes and I'll pick. Whoa. Oh. Are you hiding behind the orange cloud? No. Let's pick. Peek inside. Well, we know it's either going behind the purple one or the green one. Let's try again. You ready? Here we go. Bright sun, bright sun, if we shout very loud, are you hiding behind the... What color? Did you say purple? That's too purple. Are you hiding behind the purple cloud? That's peek inside there. He is. Yay. We found Mr. Sun and we'll have a sunny day. Sometimes we have a clouds in the sky when there is a sunny day too. So Mr. Green Cloud will just have to stay there. But Mr. Sun will shine bright now. All the other clouds are gone. Thank you for your help. I want to show you some fun things you can do about rain. There's things you can make. I made a little umbrella. All I did was I took a cupcake liner, folded it in half, took a pipe cleaner or chenille stem, put a little hole in the top, and then I bent the bottom and made an umbrella out of it. And if I wanted to, I could decorate and color on this and make a pretty little umbrella. I also made another umbrella. And this one, I put some raindrops with it. I used a craft stick, a popsicle stick, a piece of construction paper that I cut in shape of an umbrella. I had some yarn and I cut out some raindrops and I made my own little umbrella with the rain coming from it. You could decorate this one too, if you'd like to. But I have an experiment we're gonna do. We're going to have it rain. And we're gonna make a cloud in a jar. And we're gonna make it rain through the cloud. So I've got some shaving cream. And we need to have a jar, a clear jar that I have filled up with water, not all the way, about three quarters full. I have the shaving cream. I have some blue food coloring. And I also have some water in another one because we're gonna drip some of this blue food coloring into the water 
to make it turn blue. Look how it turned blue pretty fast. Now, I have a little pipette or a dropper that I'm going to use. Let's mix it up and get it nice and blue. If you don't have one of these, I think you can actually just use your food coloring dropper and drop it in. Or maybe you have another eyedropper or something that you could use. But this is the fun part. We're going to make a cloud with our shaving cream. Are you ready? Hold it over top of the water and push and go in a circle and we're going to make a cloud. I'll get my cloud in the water. Now we're going to take some of my raindrops and we're going to put it on the cloud and wait and watch it go through the cloud into the water. Let's give it some more. I see some coming through, do you? That's over here. Let's make some more rain going on our clouds to get through to the water. Oh, do you see it coming? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's make it rain some more through the cloud. The cloud's raining. It's coming through. It's going through. Do you see it coming through? The rain is falling from the clouds and it's coming through. Let's see. It's getting bigger. Now, I have seen them do this with other colors besides blue. If they wanted to make like a rainbow rain coming through, but I just have blue to use. Let's see if we can get it to come all up. Oh, there it is. You see it's coming down more? You see it going down on there? It'll eventually spread all through. Oh, did you see that? That was a big one. It'll spread all through the water. Here it comes. My blue is raining down through the cloud into the water below. Let's do this a little bit more. There it comes. This is a lot of fun doing it and seeing the colors mix in the water. Like I said, you could do it with other ones and get all different kind of colors. Maybe see how the different colors blend together. But this is my cloud and these are my raindrops coming down. Drop, 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 drop. In the water below. Now there'll be um, things posted on the website with different places uh, that you can go on the web that talks about the science involved in something like this or shows you how to make some of the crafts that um, we that I showed you with the umbrellas. All you have to do is check check the web. They have all kinds of things. Can you see better if I put something behind it? There you go. Look at it starting to swirl. Well, I did want to tell you about something on our website that you can go check out. It has some really cool information. It has information about animals and plants and arts and science and sports. So it's called Kids Infobits Explore. If you go to our website and you go to the digital library, from there you go to research and learning and then Hit that and you'll scroll down because there'll be some things. And you scroll down till you find Kids Info Bits Explorer. And just hit on that and then 
you can start exploring all kinds of cool topics. How's this doing? Is it going more in the water? Yeah, look at that. Let me bring it closer so you can see. Can you see any closer? There, that's better if I'm not behind it. Look at that, spreading into the water. My cloud's turning a little blue, isn't it? Yup. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today for our stories about rain. I had a lot of fun doing different, uh, the different things, different stories and songs and experiments. Well, I'm ready to sing my song before we go. So if you remember the words, sing along with me, okay? You ready? Here we go. <laughs> joining me today. I hope to see you real soon. Bye. Have fun in the rain.